The peritoneum. The peritoneum is a thin serous membrane that lines the walls of the abdominal and pelvic cavities and clothes the viscera. It can be regarded as a balloon against which organs are pressed from the outside. The parietal peritoneum lines the walls of the abdominal pelvic cavity. The visceral peritoneum covers the organs. The potential space between the parietal and visceral layers is called the peritoneal cavity. In males, this is a closed cavity, but in females, it is in communication with the exterior through the uterine tubes, the uterus, and the vagina. The peritoneal cavity is the largest cavity in the body and is divided into two parts, the greater sac and the lesser sac. The greater sac is the main compartment and it extends from the diaphragm down into the pelvis. The lesser sac is smaller and is behind the stomach. The greater and lesser sacs are in communication with each other through the epiploic foramen or an oval window. Intraperitoneal. An organ is intraperitoneal when it's almost covered totally with visceral peritoneum. Example, the stomach, the jejunum, the ileum, the spleen. These organs would move with respiration. Retroperitoneal organs lie behind the peritoneum and they're only partially covered with visceral peritoneum. Example, the pancreas, the ascending and descending colon, the kidneys, the adrenals. Peritoneal ligaments are two-layered folds of peritoneum that connect solid viscera to the abdominal walls. The liver connects to the diaphragm by the falciform ligament, the coronary ligament, and the right and left triangular ligaments. Omenta are two-layered folds of peritoneum that connect the stomach to another viscous. The greater omentum connects the greater curvature of the stomach to the transverse colon and it hangs down like an apron in front of the coils of the intestine. The lesser omentum suspends the lesser curvature of the stomach and the proximal duodenum from the fissure of the ligamentum venosum and the porta hepatis on the undersurface of the liver. Mesentries are two layered folds of peritoneum that connect parts of the intestines to the posterior abdominal wall. For example, the mesentery of the small intestine, the transverse mesocolon, and the sigmoid mesocolon. Peritoneal ligaments, omenta, and mesentries serve as bridges and they permit blood vessels, lymph vessels, and nerves to reach the viscera. The lesser sac. This lies behind the stomach and the lesser omentum. It extends upward to the diaphragm and downward between the layers of the greater omentum. The spleen, the gastrosplenic omentum, the splenorenal ligament form the left margin of the sac. The right margin opens into the greater sac through the opening called the epiploic foramen.